What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Jet Killer ADW, back into the mix with another Vigor video. In this one, I'm going to explore the map that I've never done before Anakin. Like Anakin Skywalker, I guess. So, I say I've never done, done it before. I did it one time and I left in one minute because I was so intimidated. Because like, this map is different. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is. But I didn't explore it fully, so I don't have my full, full first impression. And so with that being said, I wanna share my, my full first impression with you all here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy the video, but at the same time too, learn a couple of things from my mistakes and from my viewpoint because i mean everybody has their different ways of you know pro progressing through this game whether that be getting an lmg and destroying everybody in the lobby or pulling a me and taking a silenced mp5 into the shortest map in it well the least um sized area map on this game and killing one person and hitting a barred house and leaving so with that being said let's go ahead and peep at this lobby once it gets filled up so yeah this game it still gives me chills and seeing as how this is a brand new map I'm expecting chills okay so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine people nine people and Everybody, that guy bought three weapons. What, okay, wait, wait. Why would you bring an auto sniper and a knife? You can hear somebody coming up behind you with a knife. But anyways, everybody here, for the most part, is armed to a T. And it looks like they're bringing mid to long range weapons. So, I think I know, if I were to give this map another try, I think I know what to bring. Something with a scope and just hope that I don't get caught out in the open caught out in the open excuse me so let's do this please tell me why I just noticed this map only has four exits what only four okay all right okay well I guess it's time to explore Got some food right away. Good stuff. Now, if you didn't notice, I did bring some body armor. And I only bring that out on the most uh, fearful of occasions. And there's a comp station near me. So, I'm going to put that on because I don't want to die. Because I'm trying to see this map to the fullest. Go ahead and change this real quick. Cool. So, I think I harmed the airdrop too. This is a lighthouse. This is a whole lighthouse. I wonder how high it goes. Excellent, some more food. So now I'm up to 20, let's go. All right, let's see how high up on a, high up I, I am. Well, that's pretty, but wait a minute. Okay, this is really pretty, it is, but now my anxiety is starting to raise. You can see the entire freaking map from this one tower if you knew how to snipe which i don't but if you know how to snipe this will be literally your perfect sniper's nest and like i'm in a corner of the map and there's only one way to get up to me like this is perfect look i can see a dude he's right what do you mean this is overpowered this position's op this position is really OP. Like, I just, I can see a guy from here. Like, no other map in this game has a vantage point this high up and this safe. Literally, all you need to do is have a contact bomb at the bottom and one maybe at the top of the staircase and maybe a, um, an alarm trap at the base and you're straight. But then again, there is no exit near here either, so I guess it's not overpowered. It's, it's, it's pretty balanced. I, I, I retract my previous statement. So, 
you know, I'm done being up there and being being exposed. And somebody just unlocked the time safe, so that's all the way up there. And come down from my high perch and loot this house. Hopefully there's something good in here. Okay, that door is still closed, so nobody is nobody's heading this way just yet. As you can tell by the map, I've only been to two landmarks. And when I went to my second landmark, I got ambushed and killed. So, yeah, I don't know this map at all. But what I can tell you is I'm still trying to decide. Oh, a picture. Oh, the big behind boat in the middle of the map is sitting right there. Wonderful. Okay, so there's a boat. I'm guessing it's right there, too. The buried cache, according to the photo. So... We're going, we're going to see if I can find this buried cache. Now, what I, back to my original point. I'm not too sure how to rank this map in terms of danger. But for a new player, it's not friendly at all. I say it's not friendly at all because, look, there's no cover. Did, you mean to tell me a carrot gave me two food? Okay. All right, so the signal detector is over there to my east. Which means um, I should probably avoid going that way. But I still need to go that way anyway because that's where my picture is at. Where the cache is at. And I just hurt somebody. I really just hurt somebody just now. I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide. I wonder if it was that exact same dude that I spotted earlier. Well, I don't see anybody. But yeah, I say it's dangerous for it's dangerous for a new player because you can you can get killed really easily on this map. You this this map is literally a cluster of snowy of snowy islands. And that's it. I mean, yeah, there are some houses, but if you're out and about on a freaking iceberg, just, you know, walking by yourself. If you get caught out, if you do get caught out, where are you going to take cover at? You can't. Like, look look at this passageway, for example. Where are you going to take cover at? There's like three mounds of dirt in a boat. And that's it. Your best bet is to fire back and suppress your enemy and give yourself a window of opportunity to, you know, relocate. See, now right here I can take cover. Right here I can take cover. Right there I can take cover. And you're like, I know what you're saying. But Jet, there is rocks all over the place. You can you can take cover behind there. Yes, viewer, I know that. But you have to run there. And all the time that you're running, they're firing at you. And all it takes is one stray bullet to hit your head. It don't even gotta be a well-aimed bullet. If one bullet hits your head, you're gone. So, in my opinion, this is the least friendly map in this game. Now, I know I said uh, Fagellan Clanton is the most dangerous map. There's a difference. Danger means you can, get, you can get shot easily. Least friendly means there are very few, if not no, chances for you to actually learn how to how to survive and initiate combat you you seen how i spotted one guy at the very beginning of the match so i already knew he was near me which means i already had a mental drop on him as in i know that he's nearby so i'm gonna have my guard up automatically but on for and clanton you don't see anybody until you go on top of a mountain and you see them across the way with this, with this map, I can literally go up to the top of a lighthouse and see somebody. You know? There's a difference there. Okay? So, I'm making my way to the buried cache, not downtown. And I'm seeing these two houses. Or shelters. And somebody is, like, camping that freaking thing, bruh. Alright, so, pro tip. Don't camp the signal to tell- Oh. Okay. Um. 
That's kind of close. I just seen a guy run over into this area. And that's bad. Because I need to get over there. You see, there's the boat and it's angled to where the camera is pointing on the on my right side, the boat's left side. I don't know I don't know the difference between port and starboard. I'm sorry my naval viewers, but um I'm gonna say the boat's left side. But anyways, so I need to get over there to the island. And the plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. I'm not worried about the airdrop. Look at this passage. Look at this. I don't want to cross this, but literally, if I want to be sneaky, I have to go across these icebergs. Like, I'm a sitting duck out in the open, man. Yeah, and they're still fighting up there, too. And guess what else? The signal detector is up here as well. So, I'm expecting at least two guys the only thing I have oh, well there are two things I have going for me number one the element of surprise well no not really because okay maybe 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 I'm gonna say there's a 60% chance to have the element of surprise and two nobody in this lobby was a part of a team so if they, if they do see each other they're gonna fight and you know third party back to this map it's really open and there's very little cover now I haven't been on here when it's um, raining but I can only assume rain doesn't affect this map much because you there, there is no like backdrop to conceal your uh, silhouette so I'm just Mm, I gotta get I get I have to get used to this map right now it's scaring the ever living like positive energy out of me and it's placing fear into my spirit and look at that somebody already found a cache are you serious all right let's destroy the picture did did they leave anything here for me nope I'll take that I'll take that disinfectant you never you never know they're gonna need it all right so there are four exits on this map should I go behind me or in front of me? Uh, now nah, I'm gonna go behind me. Cause at least, oh my goodness. Are you serious? Okay, relocate, relocate, relocate. Can't be in the same spot forever. Relocate, relocate. So they know that I'm behind them, but they don't know where exactly. As soon as somebody hits a the signal detector and you're like right near it, run to like another random behind location because nine times out of ten, they're going to come and look for you. And so right now I'm expecting to hear footsteps. That's why I'm crawling. Okay, this is odd. I don't hear nobody nor see anybody. There's also a chance that they didn't want to engage me. That could be an option too. That could very much be an option. But back to this map, I don't know all of the landmarks. I've only been to two. Well, three now because of the lighthouse. Now, I'm trying to figure out where this exit is. It's not over even, even though even though the sound design on this map is saying that between those two little red markers is the exit. That's what it's sounding like because of the seagulls and crap, even though you can't see any birds. Um, but back to my original point, here comes the radiation. I have not been to all the landmarks, so I can't say where to go for this and where to go for that. Okay, now here comes the radiation. And I'm thinking I'm sh I should be I should have a window for surviving a little bit. Now where is it coming from? Oh, I'm right next to it. All right, so screw my window of 
safety. May I loot these stuff. And can I go around here? Nope, I sure can't. Go back into the house. And crawl out through this window. The killer has been marked as a threat. It's up to you to eliminate them. Alrighty, so somebody is the MVP in this match and killed half the lobby. As long as they stay over there and they're in crows. I do not like hearing crows in this game. That means somebody's nearby. Pushing it. Oh, he's right there. And that's the exit I want to go to. Dang it! All right, so I don't, I don't have the health nor the time to go to a whole nother exit. I, if if he's still there, we gotta fight because I need to leave, and that's my nearest exit. The. It's, this map isn't friendly because of how open it is and how few exits there are. At least on uh, Fagellan Clotson, you can actually go to a certain exit that you know nobody uses. But here, there's only four. Okay, good, he's not here. There's only four. Also, the radiation is taking a really weird pattern around this map. Alright, Mr. Threat, the airdrop is yours because I ain't got time. Ooh. Now, they may, that may not look scary because you're sitting at home watching this with your popcorn in your hand but playing that map that map is scary you're in you're in the open like 80 percent of the map and your only real cover is inside a freaking uh intermodal shipping container ship yeah um that's pretty close quarters so there's there's no in between. It's either far or close. I have not been inside that ship yet. Maybe in, in another video I'll actually go inside the ship and see what it looks like. But for now, I I can't. I'm done with that map because it's too open. If somebody has a scope like how I did on that lighthouse and they'll spot you from a mile away, if they're in a team, they can send their two buddies to come out there and kill you. Like. Tactics are everything. And that map is gone. Hallelujah. Put all my stuff away. And so with that being said, folks, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.